It's a pleasure having you again, my friends. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the solution to question 6C on the May 2012 CSEC math exam past paper. A typical transformation geometry question. Here they are asking us in part C to determine the value of area of triangle PQR over the area of triangle uh, LM, LMN. Now, let us quickly identify our triangles. Uh, the small triangle here, which is uh, in magenta, color magenta, L, M, N, okay? And this is the object. And in the previous video, we looked at the fact that this triangle underwent a transformation, which is an enlargement, to produce its image, triangle P, Q, R, okay? So you could always watch that video, the previous video, okay, to see how we found the center of enlargement and all of that. Now, here they're asking us to find the area, the value of the area of PQR over the value of the area LMN. Now, quickly, guys, uh, we know that these two triangles are two right angle triangles. If you notice, in triangle PQR, I have identified my 90 degree angle, my right angle, and also I'm going to do the same for triangle LMN, okay? So I'm going to identify my right angle there at the point M. Now, we all know that the area of, to find the area of a right angle triangle, it is the same as a half area. I'm just going to put A for short. Area is equal to a half base times height. That's, this, is, this is just a general formula or rule that we use to find the area of a right angle triangle. Now, basically, my friends, what this is saying, this would be equal to, if I'm trying to find the area of PQR, this would be a half of, and I'm going to be multiplying, so I'm opening my bracket, and I'm, I'm dealing with PQR, so I need a half of the base, okay? That's, that's what the B stands for. So my base on triangle PQR would be RQ, okay? Or QR, it doesn't matter what, what you say, so I could have a half of QR, and that is being multiplied by my perpendicular height, okay? Uh, which is PQ, and it's this vertical height here that I'm speaking about. I'm presently running my pointer along, okay? So that's PQ, okay, my friends? And you would close your bracket. Now I'm just going to draw my line to show that I'm dividing, and I need to do the same for the triangle LMN. So it's the same formula because we're dealing with two right angle triangles. So I'm going to be taking a half of open brackets to show that I'm multiplying. So I'm taking a half of my base again, which is MN, the distance M to N. So a half of MN, and that is being multiplied by my perpendicular height again, which is LM, okay, times LM. Okay, my friends, so this is just a general form to you area of a right angle triangle. Now, let's just quickly substitute values. Here I have a half, so I'm going to place back my half in my numerator, okay, and that is being multiplied by, okay, QR. Let's check out the distance QR. Q, from Q to R, if I'm starting at Q, I'm going to count how many units would take me to R. So this would be one unit, that's two units, that's three units, and this would be four units okay so from q to r would be four units so i'm taking a half of four if you notice the four represents qr okay so now i need my perpendicular height so the four is being multiplied let's check the perpendicular height if i'm starting at p and i'm going down to q then from p here this would be one unit this is two that's three units four units five units and this would be six units so I would have a 6 there. So I'm substituting the 6 for the distance P to Q. And remember now, my friends, this is all over. Again, I need to find the same thing for the denominator. So I'm going to have a half there. So I have a half, and that is being multiplied by MN. So let's find the distance M to N. If I'm starting at M, then this would be 1, and that would be 2 units. Okay? So a half of 2, and I'm being multiplied by let's check the perpendicular height if i'm starting from l coming down to m so if i'm starting at l coming down this would be one that would be two and this would be three so i would have three units there okay so all we're simply doing now my friends is to calculate and find the value of so i could say two into itself goes once two into four goes two times okay and i would say two into itself goes once and two into two goes once okay so in my numerator, I would have a 2 times 6 there, if you notice. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 6, that's 12, okay? 
and in my denominator I would only have a 3 left over there because 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3. So basically I have 12 upon 3 which is equal to 4. So therefore, therefore the value the value that they're asking us to calculate is equal to 4 and that's my answer it is as easy as that now what I'm gonna be doing uh, this I have completed part C now I'm going to switch boards uh, where we're going to be looking at parts D and E of the same question okay now here we have here we are we have just looked at the completion or answering part C so let's quickly move on to part D now my friends quickly here in part D, they're asking us to draw and label triangle ABC with coordinates negative 4, positive 4, and negative 1, 4, and negative 1, 2, respectively. Okay? Now, let's just quickly draw this triangle ABC. Now, here, my friends, uh, remember, the when they're asking you to find coordinates, uh, the first value is a x value, and the second value is a y value. Okay? So, let's just quickly look at how we would... Uh, Come, come up with that. Now I'm just going to simply uh, mark my coordinates. Uh, let me just clear this a bit. Now the point negative 4, 4. Basically you're finding the x value first, negative 4, and if you notice negative 4 here is on my x-axis and I'm going to go straight up to where that line intersects with 4 on my y. So I'm going to stop at that point there. Okay, so if you notice at this point when I come across horizontally to my y-axis, I have a positive 4 there. And from this point, when I come down on my x-axis, I have a negative 4. Hence the, the coordinate, negative 4, 4. Okay, now let's find the second one which is negative 1, 4. So obviously the first value is my x value, so I'm going to go to negative 1 on my x-axis. Here is negative 1, and then I'm going to go 4 up on my y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this would be the second coordinate. Okay, my friends, that point there. Now if you notice, if I'm at this point again, when I come across my y, that's a 4, and when I go down on my x, that's a negative 1. Hence, negative 1, 4. Now I need to find the third coordinate, which is negative 1, 1. So obviously, the first value again is a negative 1. One, so I'm going to position myself at the point negative 1 on my x-axis, okay? And I'm going to go up, since it's a positive y value, I'm going up two places. So this would be the point that I'm interested in, okay? So these are the coordinates, uh, and, and I'm going to do you a favor. I'm just going to simply mark them so that uh, they can be memorable to you, okay? So this is my point, negative 4, 4, okay? This is my point, oops, this is my point, negative 1, 4, this point here, that's negative 1, 4, and this is the final point, which is my negative 1, 2, okay? And you could always pause the video and look at it for yourselves. Now, quickly, let's draw our triangles, and to draw our triangles, that's pretty easy. All we are doing is simply connecting the points, okay? So, my friends, all we're simply doing, I'm just going to draw a straight line from the point negative 4, 1, straight down to negative 4, 2, and then, my friends, I'm just going to simply, from negative 4, 4, I'm going to connect a line from here, this point, and I'm going straight across, and I'm going to stop at negative 1, 4. And then simply, from negative 4, 4, again, I'm going to draw a line from here, and I'm just simply going to connect that line to negative 1, 2. Okay, and there we have our triangle, our triangle ABC that they're asking us to draw and basically uh, the first point would be a negative which is negative 4 4 So we could go ahead and we could make that criti those critical points. This would be the point a Okay, and then the point this remember the second value is B So B would represent this coordinate negative 1 4 so negative 1 4 this coordinate there that would be my B and then my C now my friends would be negative 1 2 okay and this is all because they use the this this would be my point C that's my point C my C is a bit ugly forgive me now because they use the word respectively okay A comes first so the first coordinate would be for A B comes second so the second coordinate would be for B and C comes last so the, sec the third coordinate would be for C okay